The Packers are 2-2-1. Two, two and one. They lost to the Lions on Sunday, 31-23, to and my initial reaction was, oh, man, Packers suck, and all they have is a quarterback. I said, you know, the Lions led 24 to nothing at halftime, and I think it'd be pretty lazy, actually, to say the Packers suck. To say the Packers are a bad team, and they only have Aaron Rodgers was my initial reaction, but when I looked into it, I realized, oh, hmm, that's lazy. That's wrong. No, I, I acknowledge in week one, the Packers trailed to the Bears at halftime. Aaron Rodgers led this incredible comeback. And then I acknowledge again in week three, the Redskins led the Packers 28 to 10 at halftime. And now we have in week five, the Lions led the Packers 24 to nothing in halftime. And you can't expect Aaron Rodgers to have a miracle comeback every single week. So it looks like from, a, from an outsider's perspective, if you don't do any research, any homework, you don't look into it. It looks like the Packers are just a terrible football team, and all they have is this quarterback, this legendary quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, who has no help around him. It looks like it, but that's not actually the narrative. If you do research, if you look, you'll realize it's not true. Against the Lions, the Packers had five drives in the first half other than the one where they kneeled. There were three missed field goals and two fumbles on those five drives. And in the end of the game, the Packers kicker, Mason Crosby, finished 0 for 5 kicking field goals. No, no makes, 5 misses. That's 3 times 5, that's 15 points. That means the score could have been 38 to 31, the Packers with the lead by 7 points. Oh, and by the way, Aaron Rodgers had 2 fumbles. When you think about it that way, you go, oh, well, hmm, the Packers should have won that game, shouldn't they? And then people always say, well, the Packers have a terrible running game. They're so bad at running the football. First of all, they have one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And when you have a quarterback who can throw the ball like Aaron Rodgers, would you run the ball 50 times a game? No, you wouldn't. But if you look even closer, hmm, are the Packers really terrible at running the ball? False. They are not. The Packers have 506 rushing yards this year. That's 16th in the NFL. They average about 100 yards rushing a game. Oh, and how about the Packers' defense? Well, uh, the Green Bay Packers are seventh in total NFL yards given up. Oh, and that's, by the way, that's Washington and New Orleans are ahead of them, and they both play tonight, which means they've played one game fewer, which means the numbers are skewed, which means the Packers could be very easily in the top five in total yards given up in the NFL. And uh, yards per game, the Packers rank fifth in the NFL. They're fourth in total pass yards given up. They're... 14th in points given up, and they're 15th in rush yards given up. The point is to say the Packers are okay. They're not as bad at running the ball as everyone says, and their defense is in the top half of the league in every category, sometimes in the top 10. They have a top 10 defense. They are able to run the ball better than half of the teams in the league. Mike McCarthy is a solid head coach for the Packers, and Aaron Rodgers is probably the best quarterback in the entire NFL. So when you Relax. You take deep breaths. You look at it closely. You'll realize, oh, hmm. The Packers are not a terrible team with just a good quarterback. They have a good quarterback, a solid coach. They can run the ball about as good as most teams in the NFL. And they have a top 10 in most situations defense. So the narrative that the Packers suck is simply not true. They're 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. They are tied for second in the NFC North. According to statistics, if you look at the numbers, you'll realize, oh, huh. The Packers could very easily still be a playoff team. Do not panic if you're a Green Bay Packers fan. And if you're a, a critic of the Packers, or maybe you're a Vikings fan, maybe you're a Lions fan, maybe you're a Bears fan, don't overlook the Packers. They're not out of it. They're not as bad as their numbers suggest, that their record suggests, excuse me. And when you actually look at it, they're not a terrible running team. They have a solid defense, great quarterback, good head coach. All the things you need to win a game, win, <laughs> to win in the NFL. So... I think the Packers are fine. Don't overreact to that 2-2-1. Two, two and one. They're better. The Packers are better than their record suggests. Hi, my name is Zach Schaumler. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports, and it is my favorite thing in the entire world. If you don't know already, for new Strong Opinion Sports, you can subscribe on iTunes, on SoundCloud, and on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube, and you can also find more clips like this, the short breakout clips like the one you just watched. Help me grow Strong Opinion Sports by telling your friends about it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. Help me grow 
by telling your friends about this show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so much and have a great day.